All right, what's up guys? This is Jake. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and create a custom contact form for your Shopify store. So we're first off going to have to create a contact page initially if you don't already have one. So what you want to go ahead and do is go under online store pages and we're going to click add a page really quick. And we're going to go ahead and just name it contact. And if we come down here to theme template, we can go ahead and change the theme template to contact and most themes are going to have a contact template for you and for reference i'm using the default theme in shopify which is debut so if i go ahead and click save right here and then we go ahead and view this page we can see that this is the contact form we were given which is definitely pretty cool but we want to go ahead and be able to add a couple more fields to this so we can maybe add additional questions maybe add some check boxes or a drop down and i'm going to show you how to do that in this video so the first thing we need to do is head back over here and we're going to go ahead and click on themes and then we're going to go to actions and then select edit code. And the first thing we need to do is find the code for this contact form. So we're going to come down here under templates and click on page.contact.liquid. And what that's going to do is bring up the actual code that represents the contact page. So this code right here is essentially the back end of what's creating this front end right here so what we're going to go ahead and do is edit some of this in order to go ahead and customize our contact form so the first thing that we're going to do though is we're going to create a separate page just in case you mess something up you don't want to mess up the base code so what we're going to go ahead and do is copy all of this code right here and then I'm gonna come up here and click add a new template and then we're gonna create a new template for a page. And then I'm gonna just name this custom contact and I'm gonna create the template. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do here is get rid of this code and then paste in the contact form code right here. And I'm gonna click this button right here just to make this a little bit bigger so everything's easier to see. Then I'm gonna click on save right here and once we've saved this right here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back over to pages really quickly so i'm going to open this up in a new tab and we're going to go right back to the contact page once again and we're going to come back here to theme template we're going to open this up and we're going to switch the template to the new custom contact that we just created and then i'm going to click save and once that's saved i can close this out and i'm going to go ahead and refresh the contact page and we can see here it looks exactly the same even though we're using a different template and that's because we copy and pasted the same exact code in right here so now at this point we're going to go ahead and edit the code here on page.customcontactliquid and we're going to go ahead and add a few customizations to this form so first off i'm going to click right here just to make this bigger so everything's easier to see and really quick i just want to get you familiar with what is going on with the code but fortunately, if you don't know code, this isn't too hard because Shopify actually provides a lot of the actual code to go ahead and put in here to customize the form. So the first thing that I want to show you here is we can see if we come down here to where it says form contact form ID, this is where the actual code for the form starts right here. And if we come all the way down here to where it says end form, this is where the code ends. So this right here is where this entire form comes from so we're only going to be editing code in between right here and down here to end form so you can go ahead and just ignore the rest of that code as far as how the forms work we can see that each one of these um, sections on the form has two elements of code so there's an input and then there's a label so the label is going to be like this text right here so name email these are labels and then the input is the text box below it so these are called text inputs and these are going to be the inputs right below the labels so if i go ahead and show you what this, this name label and input text looks like over in the code we can come over here and see we start looking under form we come down here and then we see the label for name and then we see contact form name right here so this bit of code right here is what represents this right here and then if we come down here right below the name label we have the input right here so this line of code represents this actual text input for the name so you don't have to know everything here all you really need to understand is that there is a label and an input for every single one of these sections 
So there's different types of sections we can actually add to the contact form. We're going to start off by adding just another text section, but then beyond that, we're going to be adding a couple other different variations as well. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and open up this link right here. I'll leave it in the description. This is from Shopify's website where they give you the different fields you can add to your contact form. So we can see here that you can go ahead and customize and add a radio button form right here. You can go ahead and add a drop down menu or you can go ahead and add check boxes right here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can add all four different types of things to your contact form. So if you go ahead and scroll down here, we're going to go ahead and skip past this because I already showed you how that works. And we're going to just go ahead and start taking this code right here. So we can see that Shopify pretty much gives us the code to go ahead and copy into our contact form for the type of field we want to create. So first off, we have a text field. So this is what all these are. These are all text fields. So we're going to go ahead and create another one. So I just go ahead and click copy right here. We then need to decide where we want the field to actually show up. So in this case, I want to go ahead and put it right under phone number. So like we said earlier, we have to find the name and the label for phone number and then we're going to put it right below so if we come over here we can come down here if you want to hit control f and make it easier you can go ahead and search for phone but considering there's not a lot of code here it's pretty easy to find you can see right here here is the label for the phone and then here is the input for the phone right here and then right below that we see the label for the actual message and the text area input for the message. So what I want to go ahead and do is add this right in between here. That's where we're going to be adding all of the additional things right between here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this line right in between the phone input and the message label and just paste this code in right here. And then if I go ahead and click save and we come over here and refresh, we can see that now this new section is in here. So now I'm going to quickly show you how you can customize this text section. So the first thing we can go ahead and do is we can see that this text right here, the text between the two label tags is what's going to show up right here. So let's say instead of asking for a birthday, I wanted to ask for age. I could put that in right there. And then what I'm going to do is anywhere that in this piece of code that we pasted in here where it says birthday, I'm just going to switch that to age. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this right here. So one thing that you want to confirm is that right here inside the label where it says four equals contact form age, you want to make sure that that matches down here inside the input where it says contact form age, because this is what connects this label to this input. So you have to make sure that the four section right here is the same exact thing as the ID right here. And then right here when it's, where it says name and inputs, you always want to make sure the name says contact. And then after that, there's going to be brackets where you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to keep naming it age. And then right here, we can see that there's placeholder text. So this is what this says, how it says birthday right here before we actually start typing something and that goes away. So considering none of our other fields have placeholder text, I want to just go ahead and get rid of that. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that whole line. And then I'm going to click on save come over here, hit refresh, and there we go. So that's how you can go ahead and add a text area. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is look at these other different custom fields we can add now. So the next one we're gonna add here is a set of radio buttons. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy these right here, come back to the code, click enter right below the last um, input we put in, and then paste this code in right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save, open this up and we can see that now we have a question do you prefer tea or coffee with radio buttons so now what we're going to go ahead and do is customize this right here so we can customize the question and the answers so in order to do that what I'm going to go ahead and do is we can see the label that we just put in here this is the question so instead of do you prefer tea or coffee maybe I want to do something like what is the nature of your concern and that, if I save that real quick, we can see that that would go ahead and change this question right here. So now we're going to go ahead and change the actual answers. So we can see here that this says input type equals radio. So that just represents radio buttons. So we don't need to mess with the type. So what we will be changing here 
is the actual ID, uh, what's inside the brackets after contact, the value, and then right here. So the text that's in black right here is going to be what actually shows up right here. So we can go ahead and change that first. So let's say the first answer would be a question about buying. So I can go ahead and paste that in. But what we also have to change here is the value of T because right now, even though editing this text will make it show up here, it will not show up on the back end. So when someone submits our form, the only information we're gonna receive is the actual value of which um, radio button they select. So we need to go ahead and choose which value this is going to be. So we could just put in like buying question and then we can go ahead and change the ID as well. So, so contact form, let's say buying, and then this could be instead of tea or coffee, could be buying. And then down here, we will have the second different answer. So instead of coffee, we can type in product is defective. The value here could be speed defective. Tea or coffee would be switched to defective as well. And then contact form defective. And I can go ahead and click save right there. So now if we refresh and come over here, we can see that one thing is messed up. So we can see message here is supposed to be down here at the bottom, yet it's horizontal right here next to product is defective. So all we have to do is come next to product is defective and put in a BR real quick, which is a break. So if I go ahead and click save on that, we can come over here, click refresh, and now we can see that this looks exactly like it should. Now let's say if you wanted to go ahead and create one more radio button, what you could go ahead and do is just go ahead and copy this input right here from one of them. So you could copy one of the inputs right here. So I will just copy the product is defective input, come down here, click enter, paste it in. Then we could go ahead and put some different information in right here. So in this particular case, maybe it's a shipping problem. So we put in shipping, change the value to shipping, change all of this information to that, and then go ahead and click save, come over here, refresh, and we can see that there we go, we have radio buttons. So the next one we're gonna wanna go ahead and do is add a drop down menu here. So we come back over to this page, copy the drop down menu text, and we're gonna go ahead and put this below right here, paste it in, click save. If we come over here and refresh, we can see that now we have the choose a flavor option. So now we can go ahead and edit this right here, just like we've edited the other things. So we can go ahead and change this text right here where it says choose a flavor. Maybe I wanna change it to where did you find us? So we go ahead and do that. And then we can change the label from flavor at the end to let's say discovery. And then we can come down here to select ID and we will change flavor once again to discovery. And then the name, we, like I said, we have to keep contact there as always, but we will change inside the brackets to discovery. And then once we've edited that, we can go ahead and come down here to the different options. So the first option we can say is Google. The second option could be Facebook. And the third option could be word of mouth. And if I go ahead and click save, we can come over here, refresh, and we can see where did you find us. And then we have Google, Facebook, and word of mouth as the three options. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the last field you can go ahead and add to your form, which is a checkbox. So if we go ahead and copy this code right here, come over here and we will put this right below this last one. Go ahead, paste it in, click save, come over, refresh, and now we can see we have a checkbox, checkbox and we can go ahead and edit this text by let's say maybe I wanted to change it to instead of would you like a free kitten to how would you like us to contact you and we could do contact form uh, we'll just name this one method and then come down to the input ID and make sure you change the input ID to the same thing as the four just like before 
we'll change the name to method as well and then we have the value right here and I will change the first value to phone and then we can see right here the text for the value could be phone and if I click save come over here refresh we can see that switches so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we see we have the same message problem right there and that's because we need to come out their phone once again and put in a break save and then that will go ahead and go away so let's say I wanted to add in just one more option so just like for the radio options I'm gonna copy this input right here I'm gonna go down and paste it and then I'm just going to change the value of phone to email and then I will change this to email right there click save come over refresh and there we go so we can select phone email or both so this is how you can go ahead and edit your contact form to add different custom fields to it with code it may seem a little intimidating at first but once you get the hang of it is really not that bad and like i said shopify goes ahead and gives you all the code right here that you go ahead and use it's just up to you to go ahead and paste it in and then do the editing for it so with that said if you did enjoy this video be sure to leave it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and i'll see you guys in another video